oh my fellow nurses you miss me i miss you welcome back to my channel my name is priscilla kuma lead consultant for usrm party consults a registered nurse based in the usa who help international nurses who want to work in usa you've seen me on many platforms um, talking about how to work in usa the year is rapidly coming to an end so if you haven't done that yet this might be your time to make a new year resolution to embark on this usa nursing migration for 2025 if you are still contemplating still thinking ignore the background noise my background is beautiful as you can see the water is very calm very chill i'm at this um, lake house and i'm um, having a good time as you can see so if you're still thinking about should i migrate in 2025 2026 do i really want to do this i have put in so much work or so much years at work as an rn and you're just okay with the status quo but sometimes you get very confused do i really want to start afresh does my spouse want to start afresh will it be good to just uproot my kids and take them to a different country to go start afresh a place of um, how the future is going to be so uncertain a lot of uncertainty and unknown it's very normal to have those anxieties about going to a new place where you don't know anybody to start afresh but the system is structured in a way whereby you're going to have a lot of support uh, there are a lot of social services that would assist you um, people have little church groups neighborhood groups school groups work groups and um, some people just do it by themselves there are a lot of resources out there your community library you can take your kids there you can make good and make inquiries about what resources are available to you in the community so if you still want to migrate as a registered nurse be it a midwife or a psychiatry nurse we at UPC are here every day willing to assist you 24 7 Monday to Sunday how to find us is by going to our website www.usrmpathwayconsult.com uh, US stands for USA United States pathwayconsult.com you go onto our website you register on there uh, you make your payments on there we get in touch with you we send you an onboarding email telling you what your next steps are who your case manager is gonna be how to reach us, our work hours, all the information you need to embark on this journey successfully. I always say, every state board has how they do their own things and they change very rapidly. What your friend said the other day or what he submitted and went through successfully might not be the same things that they will be demanding from you. But we as consultants invested a lot of time, we are always up and abreast with all the 50 states reading constantly the changes that are coming up on these various state boards if new york board is saying something today it might be something different so if somebody did it a year ago two years ago and telling you do it this way you might do it that way and then you cut yourself out of delay and also money because this process is not free um so you enroll you pay your enrollment fee in full if you don't live and work in ghana you pay the full amount before we start with you if you live and work in ghana you are allowed to pay half payment first and then within the next 90 days you got to top up so that your process can continue we do offer endless tuition or endless classes it's a four month or 16 weeks class we have it every month all year round so if you enroll you can join that very month or wait for the next month or the following month and um, the prices are all out there there's no uh, secrecy when it comes to what we do we're very transparent so you pay a month or two months or pay the entire four months we have tutors that you can um, join online zoom the virtual class you join online we teach you and then whenever we think you are prepared and adequate enough to go take the boards or face the NCLEX you book your examination date we hold your hands through that so we have a whole department that does everything for you the enrollment the case manager handles that for you your evaluation and stuff the tuition department is also there and then the board of English registration the fingerprinting no matter where you are in the world we are able to connect you to the resources where you do your FBI fingerprinting and background check is part of the requirement to take the boards and also part of the process for immigration and then 
you choose an examination day it's in the census you already know we have two centers in africa now south africa and kenya so you choose any of them if you are in uk you already have centers in london and all over if you're in the usa so many ankle centers you choose a date that is convenient to you you book your transportation flights whatever to the examination center you go and face and class on that big day we always check on you we encourage you we motivate you and as soon as you pass uh, 48 hours we find out that we send you your flyer i'm sure you've seen us sharing a lot of flyers out there for people who have written and passed and then the next phase is to do your visa screen and also your immigration you gotta have a cv resume let me call on my fellow nurses one more once more unlike in other countries as soon as you pass the job is waiting for you you don't even need to do any interview or nothing like that this you need to have a cv you need to have a resume as an RN who wants to work in usa prepare your cv or your resume before you even start this whole process then as soon as you pass you just have to insert your license number and the state board that you are in a california board of nursing for your license number there and then you're good to go we have this problem of so many people writing and passing and then the next stage is send me your cv let's place you in front of the employers and then you start doing your interviews and it takes about two months three months and before i'm still working on my cv priscilla you have some time give me some time be patient i'm still writing my cv because an iron has never written a resume before so like, what format should it be it's just basically sell yourself on paper your name how to contact you your email your phone number your educational background where you have worked all these years just list them out there and just make it very concise very simple straightforward make sure whatever you're putting on that paper is something you can defend when you're going for the interview you know when you say you have a bsn you took it from this school to this school the dates should match and make sense and then all the places you've worked your work history your educational background just put that on paper it's very important as i'm stressing this have your resume ready whilst you're starting this whole process or going through the process so that as soon as you pass your resume is ready you insert your license number for the state board that you ended up working with and then you're good to go um it's it's causing a lot of delay you know people have passed and they're i'm still drafting my cv i don't know what to do i don't know where to write what i'm still working on it no just use this time to handle that i have that ready so that you go for these job interviews the employers tell you what they have they have direct hire they have contracts where you have to put in certain hours six thousand hours some equate to two and a half years they all have their pros and cons i've shared a video out here before about what uh, the pros and cons are for direct hire and for contracts they all, they all have their pros and cons and you have the choice i always encourage all upc nurses to go out there and survey the market see what is out there first go talk to other agencies other recruiters other employers other hospitals other facilities see what is out there see what they are offering you direct hire you have invested in yourself you have paid for this whole process so you'll be able to get reimbursed if you spent about two thousand dollars on the whole process and you have evidence or receipts to prove the employer is supposed to reimburse you when i say employer it's also an agency or recruiter that is being assigned to get nurses for these facilities so in that case the recruiter or the agency is your employer not the hospital itself the hospital is being represented by that agency or that recruiter so that person is your employer for now so they are supposed to reimburse you whatever you've paid you paid for enrollment fee you paid endless examination fee you booked a flight you booked a transportation you booked airbnb and everything so far as you can prove it they'll reimburse you and some also have sign on bonus we have sign on bonus between ten thousand to twenty thousand depending on whatever you're bringing on board you should be able to learn to bargain as a nurse you should be able to go and face interviews people have interview days and they ask, tell me what to say how is it gonna be like i am freaking out i have a lot of anxiety no just chill out just sit there practice how to be on camera get a very quiet background your sound should be good dress professionally sit there and tell them i'm a nurse i've been doing this for 10 15 20 years this is what i've done so far 
and that whatever you're saying should match what is on paper and then if they give you the contracts make sure you read every fine line because the ones that are hidden the ones that will come and bite you in the behind years to come are the ones that you're not reading well make sure you read all the contracts and see what they are talking about and then when you're comfortable you sign it at upc we normally give you 10 days to read through and decide even if you don't want to sign it we expect you to come and communicate to us that i'm not interested and then we we take your name out of the list and we move to the next page first and just don't go silent on us tell us that oh i'm not comfortable and it's absolutely fine you have invested in yourself and you should be getting your money's worth excuse me yeah so that's it that's how we work at upc and we're always in touch with you we check on you after you've even passed and moved on to another agency or another employer we check on you and see how you're doing we are happy to always celebrate your successes so if you're still thinking about my getting in 2025 26 or years to come and you're skeptical but you've always wondered or always showed interest you know where to find us at upc we are on all the social media platforms as usrn pathway consult facebook linkedin youtube we have our own youtube channel as well i'm sure you've seen those videos out there um do that um do that for yourself it's totally worth it it's not rosy out here but i always say it's better than where you are and whether you do it or not guess what the time is going to pass people made inquiries 2020 i look at the old charts and like, you asked me this four years ago and you haven't taken an action about it so it's time to get it done and uh, you wouldn't regret you get to get a green card you get to bring your spouse and your children below 21 years you come in here after five years you get your access to be a citizenship if you so will to be an american you get all the documentation done and you're good to go reminder make sure you're checking your travel documents your passports make sure they are active at least they have six months date on it so that when you're going to take your hand collect you don't come and find out oh, my passport has expired and it takes forever to get it renewed especially when you come from where some of us come from check your passport check that of your spouse and your children make sure you have the birth certificates make sure your names are matching on all these documents because people have a lot of issues with their names you've changed your name two three four times you got married you got divorced you change your name you relocated you change your name you don't like your name anymore make sure your documents are all matching because it's causing a lot of problem for other people as well this video is lengthy and i've spoken a lot and i'm like whoa i didn't intend to stay on here for long but i guess i've missed you and this is some some of the things we've come across as consultants we see daily and i think this will help somebody if you are somebody struggling with name change and all those things i think you can relate thanks for watching this video share this video with everybody and i hope you enjoyed my background it's nice it's a little bit chilly i'm wearing the jacket um but it's nice out here so i talk to hop on here and talk to you i'm doing okay and i'm glad you're doing okay take a step today you're not gonna regret it i need to come on here and tell you about travel nursing what i've been up to for so long now you need to hear about it thanks for watching take care bye bye